What is up guys? It's good to see you and welcome back to my channel for today's vlog when we are doing something one of a kind and I think I'm the first one in this world who made a Hungarian bagel which is a nice and one of the greatest cakes out there we are fully packed with ground walnuts it has a room taste uh, in the regular version it contains some uh, sultanas too but we won't use sultanas because they contain a lot of sugars but other than that we're gonna make a, we're gonna make the real deal Hungarian bagel with almost zero carbs the carbs that this recipe will contain are coming from the walnuts and as you know from the previous recipes that I used the Kiro Luna kind of flour um, combining casein proteins, uh, inulin fiber, egg powder and all these ingredients to make a dough which is consistent and it tastes like the real deal and you have no glycemic uh, impact on your blood sugar also it has no net carbs yeah, they are some carbs, uh, but they are coming from whole fiber, uh, which will not uh, kick you out of ketosis anyway. And now, with all of this talking, let's get making it. First thing first, we need a scale. We need a bowl. 75 grams of micellar casein. 50 grams of waste isolate 75 grams of inulin fiber 50 grams of whole egg powder 5 grams of xanthan gum and 12 and a half grams of psyllium husk Let's stir these ingredients a little bit to break up all the bigger chunks. Now let's move on to the next step. We need a separate bowl. Into that we'll add 25 grams of water. That's it. And also we're gonna add 5 grams of this keto flour. And we're gonna mix it in and add it to the microwave for 15 seconds that's the consistency we, we are looking for you can see it's like a pudding texture let's move on we have here a cup we're gonna add 35 milliliters of warm water but not hot because we're gonna add the yeast into this mixture and if it's too hot it will kill our our uh, bacteria from uh, occurring in the wheat yeast and our dry yeast that's it and let's stir this in let the yeast uh, sit for 15 minutes to make its job and here we'll add another bowl one egg, crack one egg, add 90 grams of sour cream, one tablespoon of heavy cream, one tablespoon of sweetener, and let's mix this together. That's done. Let's take back our keto flour. We need to add four tablespoons of erythritol or to taste, uh, it's depend on your taste, but to baking powder, half a teaspoon. Let's mix all these dry ingredients together. That's enough. Last bowl that we need, believe me, it for adding uh, the first mixture. Adding our egg and sour cream and uh, heavy cream mixture in here too. 
add our yeast and take our mixture uh, mixer with the uh, kneeling pad. Unfortunately, I lost mine. I have only one, so it will be a little bit harder to make this. But let's combine it a little bit. And now let's add our keto flour. One third of a time. And now comes the last part. Uh, some 75 grams of uh, cubed uh, butter. Slowly. That's how it's supposed to look like after 10 minutes of continuously uh, mixing it or you can do it by hand but um, the thing is when you do it by your hand the butter will melt in your hand so it's the best to do it with a um, kneeling mixer pad. Try it out now we need to leave this dough to rise to double in size for approximately two two and a half hours at a warm place but not too hot only thing you need to do is something on top of it and it's ready to uh, proofing now we need a saucepan and this will add 2500 grams of ground walnuts 50 grams of cubed butter First we're gonna brown this then we're gonna add some room extract and some sweeter too so let's put this on the stove butter is melted now we're gonna brown a little bit our mixture of walnuts to add some flavor now we can add some little stevia to that to add some rum extract two tablespoons simmer for two more minutes this mixture and our filling for the bagel is done here is my raised dough let's take it out it's so gorgeous now we need a rolling pin of course and Let's roll it this that out. We have it. Nice and even layer of dough. Now let's spread this walnut mixture onto that. That's how it looks right now. Now we're gonna fold this using the parchment paper gonna take down the sides and then it will be very easy to roll out need a bigger dick baking dish just like that and we're gonna add some egg yolk to this to make it beautiful one thing you need to be, uh, be aware is if you put this cake to a too high uh, temperature in the oven uh, the egg yolk will brown and the mixture will not cook before the egg uh, will start to burn. So you need to add this beautiful cake to 180 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes and it will be perfect. And this is the most iconic Hungarian uh, dish for Christmas and also Eastern so let's bake it and we'll chat afterwards
we are done making this uh, recipe and I can tell after chilling it out damn that tastes delicious you have the fruit taste and also you can taste uh, some great stuff for the pastry part for the dough also the walnuts uh, which unfortunately I didn't have a machine to ground up uh, more efficiently to be very fine because when you do that you will have a better texture and uh, the whole batch will stick together better but other than that this thing will be a wonderful dish for my Easter uh, fest and uh, because you know I like to eat and I'm a foodie addicted I uh, enjoyed making this for you. If you enjoyed that, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't already, please subscribe, which will help me out because I need those likes and subscribers. Because I really try my best to do the best content out there for you and to make entertaining recipes, uh, knowledgeable things and things will ha uh, help you out in the future to not make all these mistakes I do uh, and I did in the past so all of that I'm out of here